All right, here we are. Uh, we're going to do a mailbag today with uh, our new little mom cat, Kahootie Cahoots. She's uh, very pregnant, as you can see, ready to deliver any day now. And uh, in the meantime, uh, the post office already delivered, so we get to open these packages together. So they're going to be right over here. I thought this might be fun for her. She seems like she wants a little more stimulation. She really wants to play, but she hasn't really got the ability right now to play too well. So I thought doing a mailbag with her would be a fun thing for all of us, maybe. And we'll see. She already seems like she wants to check this stuff out. Let me uh, grab a seat here. Oh, sorry, sorry, Mr. Pineapple, Mrs. Pineapple. Gonna sit right on your head. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's why it's a squish mellow. All right. Oh, hi everybody. Let me check this camera angle. Looking about right to me. Sure, good enough. I think. Yeah, we'll do it. I don't normally uh have so much of my face in the shot, so I guess I'm a little far away. Maybe we should zoom in a bit. Let's see. It's really about her. I think she's going to want to sit right down here in front of us. So let's see. Maybe. Maybe she's going to want to sit right behind us, though. Hmm. And she's just purring and squeaking. She's got all the purrs and squeaks. I'm asking a lot of this little camera here. We'll go with that. We'll pretend that works. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's not a very big mailbag either. That's another reason I thought that we might be able to do it here. Um, and uh, for news this week, well, she's still pregnant. She hasn't delivered her babies yet. Uh, obviously getting closer every day. I mean, that's just true no matter what, isn't it? Um, but uh, I've started to feel a little bit of development here. She's getting a little bit less uh, anxious about me, you know, like petting her belly too, which I think is a sign. I think they get a reflex, you know, for their nursing kids that, that makes them a little less sensitive about uh, having their belly bothered. Um, and then obviously she's, she's become more affectionate, but it's hard to say whether that's just time and the effort that we've put in or, uh, you know, if that's also related to delivery coming soon. I, I don't think it'll be today, though. I hope not. Um, or tomorrow even, um, you know, sometime next week at this point, based on the uh, amount of development that she's showing. Um, on the other hand, uh, yesterday, I guess, um, I started to notice that her belly seems like it's, it's relaxed a little bit where, you know, before it was just taut with, with just, you could feel every little kitten in there. Um, and now it's, it's a little bit more relaxed, which might also be a sign. I don't know. But uh, anyway, who knows? It's all speculation. It's very difficult to tell. She seems like she wants to sit in the beanbag chair today. Um, it's about it's about 10 degrees cooler in the house today than it has been. Um, it's very pleasant in my opinion and probably in hers too. So that's probably why she's okay in the beanbag now and wasn't before. Um, who knows? She's up there kneading. I need to get a camera on that. That's where she's going to be. She's definitely making a nice little nest up there. Let's see then. She needs to be by. Well, I thought she'd join us. Maybe she'll come down here and check it out if we start doing mailbag. She just curled into a little ball. Oh, I need a picture of her too. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? I just wanted a picture of you. Bye. There you go. Just a tiny little cat ball, cat mom ball. I'm surprised you can curl up so well considering everything you got going on. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good curl. All right, well, whether she joins us or not, uh, let's do the mailbag. Uh, as for the rest of the news, um, our three little kittens, their older sister and their mom, all still up for adoption. Uh, I haven't heard yet. That I know that there have been some applications that have come in. Um, I haven't heard anything from Dawes yet. Of course, uh, we haven't been, you know, like pushing them to hurry or anything. There's no rush. Um, so uh, also, I, I still, I, I doubt that there's been enough applications in to, to really uh, get into it yet. I don't. Again, I don't know anything. It's all speculation. 
Um, but I would encourage people that would like to adopt uh, one of those uh, kittens or two of those kittens or a kitten and their mom or or uh, Trinket, uh, who is just wonderful, by the way. I just, I can't say enough about how wonderful that whole family is. Now, the three boys, very rambunctious boys, uh, you, you know, compared to other kittens, I'm saying that. So you know that they are going to get up to a lot of trouble. And uh, that's why I say it's probably best to adopt them either in pairs or to have a, a very tolerant cat that can kind of put up with that kind of play. Um, you might have seen last night as I was filming in this, this fingers crossed, it went into a close-up that'll get published today. Uh, you might have seen, though, that they were wrestling. They wrestle with custard. They wrestle with everybody. They have no fear. And they just run full force into each other and, and you know, tackles. And some cats wouldn't take that very well. So something to consider. Uh, but they had a lot of fun with it. And obviously Trinket is right there with them all the time. She, she gives as good as they, she gets. So uh, I think it would be fantastic if somebody were to adopt Trinket, who needs that kind of stimulation too and does not make friends very easily with one of the three kittens, uh, especially Astro, I think is, is maybe the best choice. Spy uh, would also be a great choice. Spy or Astro would be wonderful choices for that. And Caliper, I'm sure, would be a good choice too. But again, uh, I say this all the time, Caliper's a little bit more on his own uh, most of the time. So, you know, uh, uh, not bad though. Uh, it might be uh, cool to see Caliper go with his mom. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. You know, it's not up to me. It's it's really the, the adopters are the ones that are making the 20 year commitment. So uh, so I get very little say in it. I, I'm, I'm with them for three, four months, and then uh, the rest of their long lives are out of my hands. So uh, it's it's not even proper of me to, to make requests in the first place. I understand that, but I do. I just like to, to sort of say what I'm thinking so that uh, people can consider it at least. Um, you know, that's that's all I can ask. Uh, so, yeah, oh, our website, of course, the place to apply. Also, um, if you're on our Discord, then you saw I finally got a new photo shoot done and published some photos. Uh, I would say they're, that they're certainly not my best work, but I've changed everything about the production pipeline so it's going to take a little time to get me up to speed and I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about it it's just the way things are so that's fine with me um but they aren't on the website yet uh because around here everything has been falling apart uh i've just had to put out one fire after another no no literal fires so far fingers crossed that that continues to be the case uh but it could be any minute now in fact uh dj and i were talking about turning on the the central heating last night when it was starting to get chilly and i said you know what let's just just, let's just give it a, another day because I, I don't want the house to burn down with the way things have been going. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, what was I saying, though? Oh, I was saying, so anyway, I've got those photos ready, and I, I really do need to make a new blog post. And now with the photos ready, i got everything lined Well, you know, most everything lined up. Theoretically, I should go back and get the baby photos that I took of those kittens and publish those, too. But those are unedited, and I'd have to dig them out. And I'll probably just say, all right, we'll come back around later. Uh, my point being, yes, uh, I'm probably going to make a blog post soon and uh, also at the same time that I'll bag for applications. And I know also that I'm, I'm behind on the t-shirt schedule, which is published t-shirt schedule. But I also know that uh, yesterday I got the designs uh, from our art coordinator that I need to put those up. So the only holdup now is me. And I just didn't get back around to it yesterday after they came in. So uh, that's that's probably all on my schedule for today. Of course, I think. Uh, some or all of what I just listed was also on my schedule for last weekend. So that's just the way things are sometimes. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself about it. And I, I'm glad that, that uh, in general, uh, all of you seem pretty understanding about it too. Um, so uh, thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Okay, now let's open some mail. Uh, or now-ish, uh, right after I... Mm. Very important. All right. And you're just going to sit up there, huh? I, I don't know. It's, it's cute. If I Can I move over there? Can I, I can fit there, right? What's on the camera? If I can move over next to her, maybe I can at least give her a little petting. I don't know. This is too much. Why am I, why am I doing all this? We don't need to interrupt everything for this, do we? I see I could move over there, but yeah, we'll see. We'll just play it by ear. All right, I got this out of the way. I can scoot around if I want.
All right, there was a letter in here somewhere, and I'd like to start with that because we always do. There it is. I also think if you are on our Discord but you don't log in too often, now might be a good time to log in because DJ does uh, an annual uh, Christmas event that also includes our um, the Christmas cards that we get to send out, um, which I'm sorry, we've had to keep limited. You know, when we first started the Christmas card tradition, uh, we would keep logs of everybody that sent us stuff in mailbag, and then that would be who we would send the Christmas cards to. Uh, we haven't done that in several years. Uh, it was just, it was too much to maintain and you never know if they're going to the right place. Um, and it, you know, it's something that we sort of do, uh, to say thank you, which, you know, makes sense, but it's, uh, it does. Uh, anyway, my point was that, that we had to change the way that things worked a couple few years ago. And since then it's been a sign up on our discord for the Christmas cards. Um, and I know every year there's a couple people who are like, oh my gosh, I've been on your Discord, I'm a Patreon, but I just, I totally missed the sign up uh, this year, you know, can you just get us one at the last minute? And I always say yes, uh, and uh, I think I've still got those to send out uh, from two years ago, so um, even though we can send them out late, my advice is if you want the Christmas card and you're on our Discord, don't forget to sign up, okay? Uh, that's my advice. All right. So, moving on. Wow, this is a card from Frank Lloyd Wright's Oak Park Studio, which I have some stories to tell you about. Um, but, uh, hang on now, there's also a written thing here. Let me see. Oh, this is about it. Okay, cool. Um, oh, wow, this is a pop-up card of it, though. I've never seen anything like that. And there's a, you gave us a little note that explains that, uh, here we go, it's all about the person that designs it, uh, which is, actually, it's written... Origami architecture greeting cards, I guess. Live your dream designs. And it's written in the first person. I draw my designs, blah, 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 blah. But nowhere on here does it say who I am, uh, which is a shame because I've been looking for myself a while. Anyway, this is beautiful, though. Look, it's got this beautiful red rice paper here with these uh, little colors and, and fibers in it. Uh, really, really pretty. And then uh, it says Frank Lloyd writes Oak Park Studio. And inside is the Oak Park Studio if you've never seen, looks something like that. And uh, right about the time that I first met DJ, uh, I'm not going to tell this whole story because some of it I think uh, a little, little weird and embarrassing, but uh, the short story is that um, every year they do a Frank Lloyd Wright tour in Oak Park where he had a house and he had a studio and there were several houses in the area that were designed by him. And the people, they're still occupied houses. People live there and own the houses. Um, but every year, these generous, wonderful people open up their house to the Frank Lloyd Wright Society there, and they have a walking tour where you can go and tour uh, all of the houses, uh, which is, they're spectacular. I mean, there's, there's the, the one, uh, I can't remember which one it is, that has this, this like, two-story um greenhouse in the back kind of like I would describe it as a greenhouse but it's all uh you know it's attached to the house and it's enclosed and I just all of it though I just I just it's so amazing the architecture it's beautiful uh it's not he's not overrated um uh anyway so uh, you know he's no uh uh Alex Jordan yeah see that was supposed to be a joke and I can't even remember his name the house on the rock guy what's his name uh anyway uh, anyway, the, the whole story was that I volunteered to um, actually help be a tour guide one year on that. And uh, they, they gave me uh, like a whole bunch of information and I had to try to answer questions for people. And it was difficult because I'd had like three days education, if that. And uh, But it was fun. It was very fun. And then you got to go on the tour and see all the houses for free. So uh, the note says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I visited Chicago and Oak Park for an art and architecture tour at the end of August. Wanted to send a pop-up card to all the faculty and postgraduate students and mom, cat, cahoots, snuggles and smoogles from Kate, uh, who is Creole Moss. I think that says Creole Moss. There we go. That's very cool. Kate, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Isn't it just lovely, uh, beautiful? And uh, yeah, fantastic uh, architecture out there. You know, I actually lived in, the reason that that was a thing, I guess, is I, I lived in uh, not Oak Park, but right next door in Forest Park. Uh, for 
uh, several years. Uh, it was a fun place. I had good times there. Okay. Um, I don't know what we're opening next, so we're just going to dive right in again. It's not very much. Uh, sorry if that was a lot of intro ramble before we even get to the fun stuff. Uh, but uh, a lot of memories there that I haven't thought about in a very long time. All right. Okay. Well, these are numbered. Good. So that says three of three. This says one of three. Oh, and that two of three. Look at that. That works out very nicely. That's great. Uh, one of three. Mr. A, DJs, and kittens enclosed are some Halloween treats. They come highly recommended by my current foster, Mateo. From Ionice. Aw. Uh, ooh. Oh, and they're Halloween. Yes. Uh, Halloween treats. Okay. Well, I don't, these are Happy Haunting. Uh, that's your Happy Haunting pet toy. And we've got some... Uh, one of these has a, a weird little plastic lanyard on it that's probably going to be really fun for the kids. I like that. Uh, there's some furry things. Uh, so, some ribbons. We'll get that open soon. Uh, and then we have a whole bag of... Yes... Tiny little fuzzy rattle mice. These are always a hit, uh, but rarely in such Halloween-y colors. So that's going to be perfect. Uh, you continue, uh, or uh, Matt from, um, okay, my current foster, Mateo, or Maddie of the Mini Whiskers, as I call him. You can see his picture in Cat Spam on our Discord server. His whiskers are incredible, reminding me of Brumbelina. Those were some whiskers, too. Maddie and I both thank you for inspiring me to foster. It's one of the most immensely rewarding and gratifying experiences I've done and helping me learn by watching YT and uh, talking to fellow Discorders. Thank you. Well, you know, I don't love it when people call me Whitey, but I understand. Um, that's a, I'm just joking. I tried to make that pun online earlier, and I don't know if it was entirely well received. Um, but, uh, oh, and there's something else in here. A yellow catnip with, uh, oh, it's a pumpkin. A yellow catnip pumpkin. Perfect. That's great, too. Uh, very good catnip. So um, I'm so glad that you're fostering. I'm so glad that people are inspired to foster. And I'll tell you, if you need uh, any extra, extra inspiration to foster, it is like the, the Konami cheat code for adopting a cat. Because if you foster, then uh, you get to see all the little kittens and wait for just the right one to come through and then adopt it. And you don't have to feel bad about passing on all the others because you've help them, you know, find their wonderful homes. So I think uh, anybody that ever wanted to adopt a cat should foster. I really, I really believe if, if anybody wanted to adopt a cat, that is a, a really good way to do it. Um, you know, except for people that want to adopt kittens for us because they've already been fostered. So, I mean, some people have to adopt without it. Others, what do the fosters do? You know what? Never mind. Just just everybody do what you're doing. It's cool. We're all cool. All right. Uh, Ionice and Mateo, uh, thank you guys so much for these. These look like great toys. So, uh, and wonderful Halloween stuff, which we're going to get out any day now. Uh, I did just, I was at the grocery store this week. I bought some gourds and little tiny gourds and pumpkins, hoping that the kittens would play with them. They're not. They completely ignore them. Uh, even when I roll them around on the floor, they just go sniff them, and then they're like, "Yeah." So whatever, that didn't work, but it was, you know, it was cheap. It was fun. They were right there. So uh, anyway, so we got those out, which means soon enough we will have some other things. I noticed uh, you got uh, this is from April in Asheville once again, and this says, "It's okay, DJ. It's not another Hawaiian shirt." <laughs> Very cute. Um, those shirts, by the way, have been wonderful. Uh, I think they're mostly going to get worn uh, next year, though, because now we've had our, our cold snap has really started. I see you just looking at me talking. You think I'm talking to you? Yeah, trying to get comfy up there in my spot. Did we, did we switch? Do I need to come sit on your lap? She's purring. She's just looking at me and purring and kind of moving around, trying to get comfy. I guess you guys can probably see her a bit. So April in Asheville has sent a local paper with a very cute dog on it. I like that. He's adorable. Roughhousing pet-friendly home amenities on the rise. Oh, well, now that sounds like an interesting story, especially if that's what people want, because uh, when we sell this place, I tell you, it's going to be... Uh, uh, there's more I would do if I could, actually. Uh, you know, if I thought that it wouldn't negatively affect the value of the house. Oh, these guys have uh, an apartment complex that has a community dog bath which is very fancy, you know, like the, the uh, big tub and the, they've got a, a 
dog dryer and everything. That's that's cool. That would definitely be a plus to me if I were renting an apartment and had a dog still. Anyway, very cute. Thank you for that. I'm excited to take a look. What a great choice. And it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I'm anxiously awaiting a contractor's announcement from DJ, so I have to be patient while Cahoots finishes baking the latest batch of kittens. Side note, I'm a ginger and I am not known for my patience. <laughs> while we are waiting, I've packed a snack for you and Dr. DJ. Ooh, some screwballs. Oh, uh, there's a note here. Positive vibe. Oh, whiskers. I see it's got whiskers. Um, Hang on. Okay, uh, so we've got a, a tiny little shortbread and a tiny little stroop waffles for me. These are very reasonably sized um, because uh, I eat all of them. In fact, somebody sent stroop waffles not more than three, four weeks ago. They sent two big boxes and a bag, um, and they're not they're not here anymore. Uh, so. Whew. Uh, anyway, uh, pack a snack for you and Dr. DJ and some, uh, for, for general use, you'll need some reading materials, so I've included the latest edition of our Mountain Express as well. My ginger tabby, G, has donated two whiskers for DJ's collection, oh, and I hope she enjoys them as much as he did. <laughs> That's cute. I hope everyone is having a great Gatter Day and that the sailing kit kids are recovering after graduation. Pet Kids and Ramble On, April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Aw, oh, thank you. Well, now I have a new understanding. I always thought Ginger Tuffy Cat. I thought the ginger referred to the cat, but maybe it refers to you. Or both. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we also have some Sheba Meaty Tender Sticks. And uh, I don't know. She fell asleep. Otherwise, I would offer her one right now. But I'm not going to wake her up for that. Uh, she's acting like she's asleep. All right. Good enough. April in Asheville, thank you so much. Uh, we will definitely get some use out of that soon. Soon, hopefully not too soon. Let's see. I mean, she really could. She could deliver today. I, I doubt it. Um, but you know, there's plenty of times I've been like, I don't think they're going to deliver today, and then they deliver today. So it's not like I have an inside line. It's not like she's whispering things to me about when she's going to do it that she's not telling you guys. So we're all working from the same information here. All right, this says, uh, I think sailing kits and trinket need these to go home with them in their endowments from Lynn in Cahoots with the Kits. <laughs> That's cute, in Cahoots with the Kits. So these are for the sailing kits. Oh, these are the long-tailed mice. You know, I don't think we've seen these in a while. Have we? Maybe. Uh, these are great. Oh, these are very rattly. And somebody's at the door trying to reach under the door to get to them. So that's cute. I love their little eyes, too. And they're all looking at me when I open this box. It looks like something out of a Jim Henson cartoon. I love it. Uh, not cartoon, uh, live action. Yeah. Uh, specifically, I think I'm thinking of Labyrinth. So uh, anyway, that's perfect. I'm going to write kits on this so that they get split up among the kits when I go down there. Kits. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. That can go there. Now this can go he here oh, in this pile. That's so pretty. All right. This says Lena. Oh, perfect. So we know what this is going to be, don't we? Uh, Lena always sends a little something personalized uh, with the cat's names on it, which is so sweet. And based on the fact that this says fragile all over it, I'm guessing they're bowls. Let's find out. Uh, oh, and uh, we have the cornstarch packing peanuts that are, uh, they dissolve in water. They're kind of fun. You can eat them if you want. They're basically just unflavored uh, cheesy poofs. Uh, and I have to dump them everywhere to get this out. <laughs> oh, it's a big one too. Wow. Okay. This is a little different. Every single one of the packing peanuts came out with that. I thought I could keep some in the box, but nope. Every, every last one. For serving up lots of yummy, nauseous and treats to nauseous, nauseous. It's perfect for me to say nauseous without sounding like I'm going to vomit. Uh, for serving up lots of yummy, nauseous and treats to sweet trinket, love and spoogles from Lena. Aw, well, sweet trinket deserves it all. And uh, I'd like to see this. It's very, very wrapped, but I guess it's made most of its journey already. So it doesn't hurt if I take some of this wrapping off of here. Only one more trip home. Oh. Wow. 
Oh, this is nice. Lena, thank you. Please hand wash only. Do not put in the dishwasher. Okay. Uh, there we go. Look at that. It's got a fish on the front, and it does say trinket right there. If you can read that, it's very cute. It's beautiful. White porcelain uh, with a glaze. It's it's fantastic. Uh, the hand wash only reminds me of that Mitch Hedberg joke. Everything reminds me of a Mitch Hedberg joke. Uh, the one where he says, uh, this shirt is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> yeah. He was a very funny guy. All right. I'm going to try to put some of these back in here so that I can just pretend like it's safely packed once again. There we go. Maybe all these back in here so nobody eats them. By nobody, I mean not me. I'm pretty sure I've eaten these during mailbag before. I know I've eaten them before. I've definitely done that. All right. So this is for Trinket. Uh, Lena, thank you so much for doing that. Again, it's so sweet of you to do that for all the kittens and cats that come through. It's, it's very special. Um, hi, what, what was that? Did you hear me talk about eating things and you thought you would get up for that? Uh, I was talking about eating things that shouldn't be eaten though. Perfect. Hi. Well, here, here, we got this right here, and I said we would try this on you. She loves treats, but I'll tell you what I got. Um, I, I say I got, I'm sure this came in a previous mailbag, but on the counter we got a, a box of the Applause brand uh, tilapia filet, and they're just, they're just pieces of tilapia in a bag, um, and she is crazy. For that i'm sure she would like any other fish I, I gave her some tuna earlier it's just i think we only had the one tuna that i could find and the whole rest of the box is tilapia so what are you sniffing for you want to try this right here now i gave her these tiki cat crunchers the other day and she loves these she loves all treats so far she loves these but then the next day she had really bad poop and she hasn't had too many bad poops so i thought well maybe not so many of those on the other hand, it's fine. She squeaks. She squeaks when she's really excited. She gives a little squeak and with her purr in it. I don't know if you heard that. Okay. All right. Hang on. We'll have more. We'll finish that off. You gotta slow down a little bit on that too. Okay. Can you can you hear the squeakiness there? I don't know if the camera picks that up at all. That's the fun thing about these treats is they're so easy to handle. They don't get your fingers dirty like all the other ones. But these are still very fresh and soft. Wonderful. Okay. This is, this says yip, 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 yip all over it. And it says open this end. All right. All right. Well, with all the yipping, it's either a very small dog or um, one of those monsters from Sesame Street, right? The little alien guys. Uh-huh. Right? Those guys. Open this end. The note suitable for public consumption on. Oh, it actually, it actually is. <laughs> I think it actually is. All right, hang on. Uh, it says, "Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, as always, a very big thank you for all you do for the kitties and keeping at least Kitten Academy a safe place in the world." Ah. What is this? What is it? Sometimes you say something and I just have to react. Enjoy these very silly yip yips. Hang one in a kitten student room to stow toys and perhaps even a kitten or two. I expect the tinies will love to play with the dangly fringe. Send the other four home with some lucky aduders. I hope they make you and the YouTubers smile. Keep on kitten SD Grady. Oh my goodness. SD Grady. I had no idea this was coming and they are so cool. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Oh man. Um, mm. This is this is just too cute. So look at that. It's really, it's really so you stuff, by the way, you stuff this top one full of uh, toys, which we'll just we'll show these are some very good toys. Oh, and a bag of fish. I know who those are good for. All right, perfect. But that aside, look at this. These are uh, wonderfully uh, crocheted, crocheted, yes. Okay, good. 
And uh, it's got all this fringe on the bottom that's going to be so fun to play with. They're made of the very soft material like, uh, like the wonderful lily cat blankets are. And they have the ridiculous, uh, they got the big old ridiculous mouth. It goes yip, 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 yip. Uh-huh. Yep, like that. Okay, perfect. That's my invitation. He's got the big eyes. It really does look like something straight from Jim Henson again. we got a running theme today, I guess. And uh, it's got a nice loop on the top, so we can hang it. And uh, I just, I love it. Ping pong ball eyes. These, this is so cool. And like you say, you didn't just send one. Uh, we have an entire cast of, <laughs> she's got her head all the way in it. <laughs> That's cute too. Oh my goodness. All right, what's in there, huh? You gonna look? These are adorable. I can't believe that. What a clever thing to do. Wow, these must have taken quite a while to make so many of these. Uh, so there's uh, three, ooh, coral colored, kind of a dark coral colored. Actually, it's kind of lobster, lobster colored. That's what we're gonna go with. There we go. And then uh, there should be, oh, one more, another lobster colored one, okay. These are so cute and wonderful. And I think these were my favorite things on Sesame Street, uh, maybe. There was also uh, Oscar the Grouch had a little worm. I think he was named, was he named Slimy? Something like that? Uh, the little worm, I always loved it when he would come out. And uh, these guys, though, they, they were the best. And uh, they had the little bugs that were in the same, they were in the same sketches, right? The little bugs in the, in the flower pot planter. Uh, the maybe wait it's, it's a long way back to try to remember you think oak park was a long time ago sesame street was much longer ago than that i was pre-elmo think about that elmo didn't exist when i watched some sesame street so way back yeah uh anyway these are fantastic and i love them and, and uh I, if i'd had more coffee i probably would try to do more imitating of them but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna not uh do that so that's so cute I, I wonder if you would be okay with us keeping two of these because I can think of another purpose to which I could put one around the house. Uh, well, at, at least for a little while, and then maybe we could donate or have something afterwards. We'll see. So uh, you can let me know. We, we, we're on Discord. Uh, you're on Discord. Um, whatever you think. Uh, that's. I'm going to put these, by the way. You didn't say anything, so I'm going to put these with the endowment stuff. Uh, I think to go downstairs. Uh, those are wonderful toys, but this is, it's magical. It's wonderful. And I can't believe uh, that I guess I knew what was in it. You didn't, I don't think you gave me any clues. Did you? Maybe. Uh, anyway, that's just, it's so, so cool. I, I'm really excited, but I really do. I think they were one of my favorite things on all of Sesame Street. So that's, uh, that's so nice of you. And so very fun. I, I'm excited to put those up. Thank you. I just, that's it. Thank you. All right. Um, Okay, uh, now we have the, this is addressed to Sailing Kits, K.A. Academy. Ooh, and the Sailing Kits, I guess we've got some last minute endowments for them. We have the uh, electronic butterfly toy. They do like, uh, Astro is, uh, Astro in particular, I guess all of them, but especially Astro likes to try to run away with toys. So he's been, every time I put this out, he grabs it and drags it and it makes a lot of noise. And he doesn't care. He'll drag it all around the house if you let him. Uh, it is ridiculous. Then um, the others do that too. And I, I think I was mentioning on Discord yesterday, there's that whale toy that they got when they were little. That's like a big ball. And then on either side, there's like a whale and it's got a feather that sticks up. You might remember it from their room or you might, it's right across the hall in the playroom. And uh, every day now when I come out, someone has dragged it down the hallway and I keep putting it like further and further back in the room thinking that, all right, you know, maybe they won't drag it all the way out of the room, but no, it's always halfway down the hallway. Uh, so somebody's been dragging those toys around. Uh, that's cute. Anyway, so you've also included the grass patch uh, hunting box. I say you, did we even see who this was? In my head, I'm still giving SD Grady credit for everything, but no, that's not the case at all. Here's the note, I found the note. The note says, for Ocean and her sailing kits, Tidbit and Chunk love the grass patch toy in their new home and wish to grant one each to Ocean's kit. Oh, I can feel a kitten right there, a big old lump of kitten. Uh, and another one, two, I can almost count the kittens on you. Uh, three, wow, all right, yes, uh, anyway. All right, hop in, that's fine, get right in the box. That's, that's cool, you check that stuff out, you tell me how it is. All right, you want this box? 
Or you can have your kittens in this box. That would make things very easy for us. Um, okay, Tidbit and Chunk. Yes. Oh, I'm wonderful. Uh, love the grass patch toy in their new home. And wish you could get one each to Ocean. The butterfly toy is gifted to Ocean. Aw. Oh, I miss you, uh, Mr. A and DJ, Tidbit and Chunk from Grace. Grace, thank you so much. And thank you so much for telling us, uh, you know, how Tidbit and Chunk are doing. Uh, it's, they're, they're such wonderful kittens. And I miss them all the time. Um, uh, there was something else I wanted. Oh, this. Yes. So this, when, when these came in, uh, I, I don't remember who sent these uh, for them. Uh, I want to say it was Lisa for kittens, but I'm not positive. Uh, anyway, um, when these came for them, I thought, you know what? These look like great toys because anytime that you have a box with some holes in it and some, some little jingly balls to play with in there, that's a fun toy. Uh, but this one is even more fun than that because it's got like this AstroTurf. Oh, AstroTurf. Um, on top. It's got the holes cut out here so they can reach and play on that. Uh, and then even better, it's got some like internal baffles too. So the balls don't always go exactly where you would expect. Um, and you can see somebody already wants to get in there and try to get them. Yeah. You just need something fun to play with. Don't you? Uh, we might have one of these downstairs that's available. I I'll check on that. She, she needs lots of more stimulation. That's why we I said we're doing mailbag in here today because she needs a little more stimulation. So, uh, that's perfect for the kids. Thank you so much for that. I, that's really a nice way to pay it. Uh, well, I guess it's paying it back, technically. It sounds weird when you say pay it back, though. It sounds like you owed me. Not the case at all. Uh, but you can't say pay it forward since that's going the other way. You know what I mean, though. And I'm just going to write ocean on this so that we remember this one is for her. Uh, that is so nice of you. Thank you. They're going to, they're just going to love this stuff for their endowments. Those, those, Grass patches, like you say, that I can just imagine that's going to be a wonderful little kitten toy uh, that even a mom cat could enjoy. All right, uh, despite all my rambling, this is a very short mailbag, almost under the limit, because if we go less than half an hour on mailbag, the robots don't think it's a mailbag at all. Uh, but we're at 1036 according to my watch, so the robots should be fine. And uh, let's see that. Where? I thought I saw a note, but then I guess it was just my imagination. Oh, uh, this is also from uh, Ginger Cat Lover. No, that's Ginger Copy Cats. And Ginger Cat Lover is another one. Okay, sorry. Confusing my gingers. Uh, I know. Um, I got it now, though. So this is uh, from Ginger Tuffy Cat. No. Ah, see, I did it again. Oh, my goodness. Ginger Cat Lover. Whew. I'll tell you. There's a lot of ginger in this dish. <laughs> a spicy, uh, okay. Ginger cat lover, perfect. There's no note that I can see, but look what you sent. These are so cute. These are old man sandwiches. Uh, that's right, BLTs are old man sandwiches. I, I think I made that point before. I've been eating a lot of BLTs. I never even uh, liked them a little as a kid. Disgusting idea to put all this lettuce and tomato on a sandwich, and now uh, I'm a connoisseur. Uh, I, I can't eat too much bacon. I know it's really bad for you, and it's not just the fat. Um, you know, everything about it is awful for you to eat. But I also can't eat too much bacon. There's just never enough. <laughs> uh, anyway, BLT is fantastic. And these are little BLT cat toys, and we've set four of them, so I can guess exactly what that is for. Uh, that's for Ocean and her kits again, so I'll put them right in here for Ocean and her kits. And then also this cat bed, and I can't, I can't tell. I guess it's just a plain cat bed but it looks very pretty and it must probably be for ocean probably um let's take a look oh, that's cute it's a it's a gray uh bed with this soft corduroy on the outside and this pet craft supply co uh like uh faux leather label so it looks all classy in your house that's perfect and i bet i bet ocean will like it if that's who you sent it for you let me know um, for now, I'm going to put it in there as though it's hers. She does like a soft bed. DJ, I think DJ got this giant-sized, super soft bed. I think it's a K&H, maybe something. Um, I, I'll find out because it, I'll have to find out because it's almost certainly going to be something that we send home with Ocean. It's right next to the bed, and Ocean loves to just – she just sits in it, and she sleeps, and she looks so luxurious. 
and all three of her kittens come in there and sit with her and nurse and it's just the cutest little family thing and every time i want to take a picture of it but it's always too dim in the bedroom for the phone to like snap a shot of it well when she's doing this uh but it, she, she likes a soft bed is my point and uh probably will love a lot of soft beds in her uh adoptive home someday so thank you so much for that Again, presumably for Ocean, and if not, that's fine too. Like I said, she's gonna get the big bed up, probably. I'm gonna—I haven't asked DJ yet. I have to ask DJ, but pretty sure she will. This one's gonna climb right into this bag of just packing materials. Can you see this? What are you doing? You got your entire front half in there. Oh, you know what? I bet she smells the leftover treat. Uh, don't eat that. I hope you're not eating that. Okay, not leftover treat. There was no treat in it, but the packaging from it. That's why you got to be real careful when you throw away treat packets. Uh, when they're done, you got to put them in a, in a closed garbage pail so the cats don't dig them out and eat the package thinking that they're, they're treaty. Yes, not treaty at all. So that's why that's got to go directly into the garbage. Um, okay. Hey, that's, that's mailbag. Thank you to everybody for everything, and especially uh, SD Grady for those yip yips. Well, especially everybody, though. I don't. I shouldn't single anybody out because it was all wonderful today. Uh, the memories of, of Oak Park came and were very nice, uh, and the, the, the Trinket's special bowl and these wonderful endowments and the newspaper and the everything. So it's, all, it's all great. It's all wonderful. Thank you to everybody. I really appreciate it. I think this is a perfectly sized mailbag. Uh, you know, I don't have to commit my entire Saturday to it, but the kittens are well, well cared for uh, by all of you. So thank you for that. All right. Now I got to figure out how to get all. Oh, oh, oh. I know. I know. She's, you can tell from her tail. She's getting a little agitated. It's good, but I'm getting a little bit better at predicting when you're going to go for the bite. huh? I think she's agitated because I won't let her dig in there and find that treat thing. Like, fine, I'll dig in here. I'll dig in, I'll dig until I find treats. Okay, well, I should get this stuff cleaned up so that we don't have that little contention. And uh, I guess we'll leave the archive rolling until after I've got everything cleaned up, just like usual. It's going to be kind of a challenge to get all this stuff out the door without also letting her out or kittens in, but I think I'm up to it. We'll certainly find out. Okay, well, here we go. You're a sweetheart, though. Do you want one more treat since I have to bring the trash out and dispose of it carefully anyway? We might as well do that. Let's see. She just had one of these. I'll leave these in here because these are cool for her. But let's give her something else to go with it, like one of these churu. She does one of these. Chicken, chicken chew. Oh, do you already know that she's had churu once? But she is smart. When when it comes to things that she wants, like treats, she is smart as a whip. Uh, she really knows uh, what's going on. Doesn't take her very long to learn new things at all, does it? Okay. But I want you to turn this way though. So I know I normally have you looking at me when you're eating this stuff, but here, I want you to look at. Oh, that's yummy, huh? For a kitty that's so willing to give a little corrective chomp, too, uh, she's very polite when it comes to, like, taking treats from your hand and stuff. So I'm always surprised by that. Oh, oh, little pause. Okay. Take your time. We got it. <sighs> yum, yum. All right, Kahootie. Well, that's that. I'm just about. Okay, there we go. That's a little messier than those treat sticks, huh? Yeah, but worth it. I just wipe them on my pants, and that's how kittens get to be good friends with me. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Here we go. Up and at him. Well, this is all headed towards the same direction, so I will, I guess, put these on top, and then I can carry them all down a little bit more easily. Slide this all out the door together. Anyway. There, you're fine. You're fine, Apple. There's no kittens there yet, but that noise is probably going to attract them. It's all a little more tricky, so i got to move quick. Got to move quickly. Alright, cute pie. Well, short and sweet. I'll come back and hang out with you after I've had a chance to get myself some breakfast and stuff. Alright, you should go eat your regular breakfast next door. I know you were so hungry this morning. You ate a ton. It's good. We got a lot of little kittens to raise here before we get a mailbag. Let's get her weight real quick. That's good. Let's see what she's at. Hello. Oh, oh. Okay, sit right here for just a sec. One sec. Hang on for me. 7.3 something, 7.3 and change. Okay. All right, good enough. I know, you need more toys. Okay, we'll get you some stuff. You need more blankets in your box? Wide open for some reason. We'll bring those two. I didn't put very many blankets in her box to start with because our last two or three mom cats have immediately peed in the, the box. I didn't want her to pee in the box, so I thought, all right, let's head this off. We'll just start it easy. But she doesn't show any inclination to do that, so I think we can fill it up with some blankets now. And then she'll pee in it. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, all right. Cutie pie, I can't just stay here. I got to eat some breakfast, okay? I got to go do some stuff. Everybody else, I'm in the archive, so uh, if you're watching on the archive, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. And if you're watching live, uh, you don't have to stop. Ever.